Yes, we are going to talk about it. And we're going to talk about your words in your marriage. I know. Okay, but here's the thing. Your words play such an impact in your marriage. And I know people go, oh, yeah, yeah, it's just words. I'm just saying this at the head of the moment kind of a thing. I don't really mean it, that kind of thing. But here's the thing. Your words really create your reality, right? Especially if you have kids. If you've got your kids and they see this, right? They don't understand sarcasm. They don't understand what it means like, oh, it was just in jest. It wasn't like, I was just meaning a joke. They see what it is that you are portraying. They see that this is how it is that you need to show up. They go, okay, so when I'm in that situation, this is how I need to show up. And here's the thing. If you don't believe me, watch when they start playing. Watch when they play kitchen or watch when they play shop or watch when they play like parents kind of thing. They act out what they see. They act out the relationship they see in front of them, right? So if you want to actually create lifelong marriage, generational blessings, the kingdom marriage that God wants for you to have, then you need to start looking at the words that's coming out of your mouth. You need to look at the actions that you are doing. You need to stand on your word. And better still, stand on the word of God. Stand on this word, right? Stand on the word of the cross, because Jesus died on the cross, right? For our sins, to give us access to a new to a new life, to make us a new being, to turn away from our old ways, right? Same thing in your marriage. Turn away from the old ways and go into the blessing that is new. Go into the new blessings of speaking words of life, speaking words of love, praying over your marriage, right? And I know a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, God, I have to pray over my marriage. I'm single, whatever. If you're single, you'll be praying. You'll be praying for your future. You'll be praying for the blessings. You pray that God is taking your spouse right now and God is molding them. God is getting rid of the things that could get in the way of your marriage. You you pray over and right now for your marriage pray over that marriage pray over any heart if your husband is going through or your wife is going through or any struggles that you see pray over your kids pray over their education pray over their minds that their minds stay pure put the helmet of salvation on them right Break into it, but use your words impactfully. Use your words to be a blessing and not a curse in your marriage. Use your words to bless your marriage, right? Because that's the way you're going to have a kingdom marriage. That's the way you're going to have a godly marriage. That's the way you're going to step into the marriage that God wants you to have. So yeah, we spoke about it. We're speaking about your words. Remember, follow for more.